Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. What's up? This is your boy Super and I'm playing Dying Light 2. Stay human. So I found some, I downloaded some more DLC free. The last and final piece of the Peacekeeper gear. And the first piece of the Ronin gear. There's a, there's a profile tab here somewhere. Because there's a, if you join Techland and they got give you gamers and goodies or whatever as they advertise on the main menu i've been a member of it for dying light one obviously i used the companion app i played the game visited the website got the promotional items they said check your profile and the profile tab is where you can claim some more gamers for goodies gear but i don't see it and it's not here Sorry, I lost track of time in the last video. What, where are we at? This ain't the right place. Oh, because I had to... God, our checkpoint was so far back. We were in the metro of a new area. We don't need any healing items. Not a new area, one of the earlier areas that we neglected. Because we were trying to stay in the level one or two territory. These two. And this one, and... We ended up in a two to three territory as as per the story. But this one is two to four, so we've not, not done much in it. We were supposed to go into the metro at night. We were, we were about towards the end when I ran out of time. God, that sucks. We're so far back now. It's not even nighttime. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to freaking finish it. I'm running out of space in my console. 50 gigs to, to make a video in 4K. That's how much free space you need. I guess that's some kind of generic number. Cause I don't know, they don't know how long the video is gonna be. Like if I made a 30 second video in 4K, would it really be 50 gigs? I don't think so, but can't even start recording unless you have 50 gigs free for 4k at least and for the the normal videos that i don't know what if they're at 1080p or 1440 or whatever but they're not nearly as big so they're, they're probably less than half because they're never they're never more than 10 gigs and the 4k ones are between 30 and 40. But this is a game that's worth recording in 4K. Other games aren't really, like Seven Days to Die, I was doing that one. Yeah, damn, we gotta start all over again. Did we get to keep our trophies, I wonder? I don't, I bet you we didn't. That's far, that's a far way to go back. I can't believe there's no checkpoints in the metro. <clears throat> it's a freaking fast travel station. How could it not trigger checkpoints? I bet you it will later, whenever you fast travel out or in a location. But not yet, because we haven't unlocked it. That does make sense, I guess. Craft parts. So I don't see any trophies. Oh, right here. Craft Master Resources. We got a great deal of rare trophies. Hmm. We even killed goo. Oh my god, that's there's volatiles right there. Holy fuck. And they clip through objects. And see look at that. One hit. And they clip through objects, so you think they they couldn't fit through the hole, obviously. But somehow they killed me. Wouldn't let me get up. So that's why we must wait till night. Looks like we're at a sleeping place though, so I guess it's not that big a deal. No, no sleep here. 
How did we miss these items? Well, this is where we got the fertilizer. Back when Alberto was still around. Ah, oh, pee. There was a bed in here at Alberto's hideout. I thought it was weird because we were breaking and entering, stealing. This is his friend's hideout, right? He sent us here to get the fertilizer. We ended up breaking in, broke into his locker, stole the fertilizer, and there's and we can sleep in his freaking bed and access his stash. Oh lord. So I should have some new stuff here. We've got an extra weapon. See, the reload weapons were pre-order bonuses. The authority mace. Damage 52 is what I just downloaded. To go with our peace, level 6 peacekeeper armor. This is a survivor's gear that we just downloaded. The rodent set 06. It's only level 4. We've already got... Why, that's stupid. They put out level 6 gear for free. And then they put out level 4 gear for free. That's weird. And we can't even look at our peacekeeper set. We can look at one or two pieces of it. See, level six peacekeeper windbre windbreaker item authority set, six to six. And we're not even level six in the game yet. And the gloves and the jacket and the bracers and the pants and the booties and the weapon. I'm gonna use the weapon though. Don't know what position we're gonna put it in. Third. We got a broken one in the one slot. Legendary hammer in the two slot. Why? Okay, legendary hammer in the one slot. Brand new weapon in the two slot. Broken item in the third slot and bow. Yeah, we're really not. We're gonna have to just run through the freaking thing. The metro they've made it so you can't repeat easy activities to gather, gather up a lot of trophies you've always got to be something new and difficult to get some trophies from dead zombies I would prefer it in a lot more of a dark soul a lot more of a dark soul style like, you're, how you're introduced to the zombies in a very cinematic fashion, like a world boss type way. Like they, I like how they did the night. They could leave the night and then just add in more scary cinematic bosses. And not make everything such a tedious, mundane process. We need to, that was a regen booster. That's what we need to be using because we're going to die for sure. Unless we stand and fight. Chase over. See, volatiles are supposed to chase you at night, not the virals. Virals are supposed to be out. Yeah, and the first one, those were out in the daytime. Those quick ones that are annoying as hell. Except they were a little more dangerous than the first one. Once they hit you, they wouldn't stop hitting you. These guys, once they chase you, they won't stop chasing you. We're gonna fall to our deaths here. Oh my god, we got so lucky that pole was there. We've got to go and heal. Finally. It's, it's like the whole gaming industry is going against me because they're supposed to make things more easier and enjoyable for everybody and attract new different audiences and I'm like the first one was best and you gotta copy the first one not Horizon Zero Dawn and you gotta make it more difficult but I think Elden Ring's coming out and Dark Souls does a very good job of making it easy and difficult 
you know, people that like easy games can get into Dark Souls, and people that like difficult games can enjoy it. And plus they've got a lot of experience with that, as you can play Dark Souls 1 through 3, Sekiro, Bloodborne, and you can see the evolution and the learning that takes place. I'm just complaining about it being easy and we get such a terrifying trip to the metro. It's all because I'm distracted though. And I'm too scared to fight because I'm in a hurry. Yeah, that's why I'm in a hurry. Because I know we've got a lot of shit to do in here and not much time to do it. And we've got fucking goons in here. We've already done it all once and lost our progress. It's a good thing to remember is that when you're going to in dark areas, going into dark areas or restricted areas, you will lose your progress on death. Let's see if he can get under. He can. This is the goon room. I think we chose the right path. Looks like they've thought about that and made situations, every situation's easily escapable and you can be fast paced and don't have to kill and look at it, explore everything. That's cool. <coughs> but sometimes I like exploring and killing everything. That was a very prominent feature and not prominent very hidden aspect to the last of us that if you didn't know you didn't if you didn't know that the game was extremely difficult i played the last of us <clears throat> I, I beat them almost the entire game on the hardest difficulty setting not using any cheats i got to like the last half an hour hour of the game God, there's a freaking army coming. Usually they're stupid and don't don't get alerted very easily. And this, now we got a freaking army coming. Maybe we'll get some trophies. Is that C4? How did that end up back in that slot? Fucking checkpoint system. Can't fucking stand it. It's like they're they're try like in Dark Souls. You know you you know how you die and you lose progress and roguelikes. This isn't that type of game. You need multiple. If you have a branching story with multiple choices, you need multiple save slots. There's I don't see how any like there's. There's gotta be a lot of people upset with this game. Because it looks so good, the combat's so fun, and then everything else just is fucked up. Let's use a regeneration booster to see how that works. Just like I suspected. Slowly heals you. So, immunity booster. What should we equip? We have immunity boosters equipped. Mm, put generation booster. With the regeneration boosters, we don't really need these med kits. Or we could use the weak med kits with the regeneration booster to hurt speed things up a little. We don't have any controllables, accessories, UV light. Oh no, I don't want me paint. Mines and decoy, I guess. All right, onward. That wasn't so bad. It took me a freaking hour just to get here the first time. Just to this door. And now we did it in like five minutes. There's, I bet you could speed run this game pretty good. 
Like it supports speed running. I don't think a lot of people will. Cinematic story game, you don't speed run those. Well, I mean, that's kind of not fair. I mean, maybe it's just too good of a game to speed run. There, that sounds better because people do speed run cinematic games. People freaking speed run The Hobbit on PlayStation 2 or 1. But those days, cinematic games weren't really all that cinematic. They just had a story and it was still all about the gameplay, I guess. The problem is cutscenes. You're going to have to skip so many cutscenes and you're going to have to work, formulate the time around the cutscenes and everything. And it's really complicated. But the fact that there's even parkour in it makes it <coughs> speedy and unfriendly. Uh, that's a big part of speed running is unplanned parkour in the game. Most efficient routes and things like that. We've been in here before, or the exact same building in a different location. And we could have kept going. A lot of generators here. We did this at the other place, that's right. It's an electrical substation. Oh, the metro, metro. And so I guess it makes sense that they would look the same. Uh-oh, uh-oh, why, why are we in the chemicals? Don't do it. Do not do it, Aiden. I don't see, we're not standing in the chemicals. It must be the fumes. Let's just go to this one. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. <coughs> you can't be on the ground whatsoever, even if you don't see any chemicals. It still damages you. That's where we need to go. Two finished. All right. Might as well go up now. Okay. Five percent complete. I don't think we're supposed to go this way just yet, or we already have. Ooh, damn, forgot to jump there. I thought about just playing the game by myself, not recording it and doing all the activities that aren't even listed as objectives. And just saving like the story missions and maybe a few side quests for recording, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. problem. There's the door. And we got a freaking lock picket. <clears throat> Bet you a gas mask or any type of PPE from 
industry places is prized but really valuable. This is a little bit more difficult than the lock picks in the first game, the hard lock picks. Yeah. to the metro RTM. Then we get 101 night, 191 XP because we're jumping at night. Well, that's the, so far how much we've earned the whole night. Those two numbers, fours, well, we just earned for that action. The other one, I don't know. Metro number three. I guess the first one didn't count because we didn't have a place to fast travel to. It's an inhibitor. It's our legendary broken vending machine. Scrap. I think we're done here. No upgrades. Doesn't tell us how many we have. I, I guess we have one. Next on the agenda. Windmill. Sounds fine. How do we get out of here? This way, Silencio, Silencio, August 24, two more years, and the outbreak happens. So we were like in 2024 to 2026 in the first game. We'll sleep at the windmill. Onward. Yeah. It's a howler. Didn't even see me. Can't go up there. Let me hit my pipe. Be right with you. Nothing for us, huh? Oh, well, this isn't the windmill. <laughs> Having a fucking dinner party. A lot of bright red ones around here. Somebody from, snuck up from behind. Windmills. We are, it could be made into wind 
turbines for wind power instead of mills. Those flows. Damn it. Missed garbage too. Patience. Oh, we timed that wrong. We're not gonna have enough stamina. It's gonna be hard to time it because you can only look at one at a time. Looks right now. No? Damn. Jesus, am I missing something here? I'm not gonna have enough time now. Enough stamina, I mean. I look all right now. But they're not. Let's wait. Let's let us let's skip this one and go on the next one. Found immunity boosters. Perfect. Perfect. Craft nine more infected arrows. We're not good. Well, 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 those arrows would be good with any bow we use. So yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, our trophies that uses infected trophies. I don't want to do that. I don't want to use any trophies. Toughness boosters use poppy and honey. No. Endurance boosters use lavender and cordyceps. DIY grenades use scraps, alcohol, and battery. UV bar use oxidizers, pigments, resin, scraps. Regeneration booster, honey and poppy. Poison, I would rather. We have plenty of regeneration boosters. We can make one more. Medicine. Infected blades are too expensive. Shock arrows are all right. And toxic arrows are all right. And fire arrows are all right. We don't need a swimming booster. Immunity bo Pink immunity boosters. We don't have a blueprint for that. We don't have any blue immunity boosters either so we've only got the green ones really that seems weird I think we're gonna I think we're gonna up our game and use DIY grenades instead of throwing knives and molotovs Let's make four of them oh, no need for UV lights I that really sucks about our immunity boosters here. No pink blueprint, no blue blueprint. It's just a green blueprint, huh? Well, we're gonna need all seven. <clears throat> we can make throwing knives, we can make 18. I think we'll just make about 10. Need to visit a craft master. Okay. Okay, let's finish with this tower and head to the crab master. I, I would complain about these aren't the same experience as the towers in the first game. But we just went to a whole section that was full of skyscrapers and we've got a paraglider, so I don't I'm not I still don't like the idea of the windmills, but we do get to see some nice tall buildings and there's some beautiful vistas. Get XP and We don't have to look for things to land on now because we can fly. 
Oh, we, what, can we, we can assign somebody to this? Is that what that just said? I think so. How do we assign? How do we assign facility? said you need to assign this facility in the map, but I don't. It doesn't say anything about it here. You zoom out to this one, it doesn't say anything about it. Looking at other locations, we can't assign them either. All we can do is track. But it does tell us to assign facility. Maybe we have to do, like it just said, assign facility. No, I can't find it. There it was. Assign facility electric station. And this one says... Oh, we've got to go to the electric station and assign somebody, and then they own the whole territory, not just the electric station. Okay. Track. Task Craftmaster. Hmm. Don't see any vendors here. What is this? Airdrop in a safe house. Looks like it's a hospital, so there might be some traders and things there. GRI quarantine building, windmill with the safe house. Maybe, I think it would tell us though. I don't know. Big question mark. Let's go ahead to the hospital. Where is the hospital? Should be looking right at it. It is selected. Must be too far away. Maybe it's in a different territory. Climb, huh? This territory no longer belongs to the renegades. You may leave. Got a boss, huh? You got a mini boss up here. And there goes our precious loot. I forgot to check the one a couple of episodes ago. We knocked him off a skyscraper and I wanted to check him after the cutscene. Rag scrap feathers. I just saw our destination. Where did it go? Where's our compass? Wasting time here. Okay, we're in the, headed the right direction. Hmm. 
not I don't really like the cranes. I like the cranes in the first game. I think the first game was a lot more cinematic and unadulterated. Like there were, it was not afraid to be who it was. This should be on, why is this not on? You serious? Get him, There's something satisfying about killing them before they can finish their sentence. We don't get much poppies. Who's that? Bet you we can like shoot that or something. No, we can shoot it. Sure. Wanted to jump and sure. swing. Yes. Nothing. Dark Hollow. I bet you we're going to this skyscraper. The hospital. It's a big hospital. Please, someone, let me out. Somebody's trapped in a building or something. Wrong button here. Who said that? See down here? You guys torturing somebody? Just renegades, what a waste of time. Pick up in five minutes. It's a photo group or something. It's where delivery worldwide service. Oh, maybe it's a delivery channel or something. It's another one. It's probably what, why they were here. Looking for the loot.
There's another <clears throat> group of bandits or something over here. Well, I would hope so. God, he was he was gonna run in here to a room full of zombies. He had to do some goodies. Even the bandits know the zombies aren't a challenge. Oh, bandits, damn. Where did all these bandits come from? We're supposed to be in the beginning areas of the game. Yeah, that's the hospital for sure. Looks familiar as well. Signs. No, no, no. Wipe off. How do I wipe off my eyes? Oh, there goes our mine. Remember, I wanted to get up the pipes, but I was like, why can't you get up the pipes? They're yellow. They look like they're climbable. <clears throat> our paraglider. This doesn't look promising. Looks like an exit. If you wanted to leave the hospital and come over here. Fuck this shit. Something's off. Oh crap. What the hell? Are you throwing rocks or something? Well, the only part of the building that had any yellow on it was those pipes. Unless we can go in. How many times do I gotta clear the area? Here, here, here. Okay, this looks promising. Almost. Okay, at least we can walk around. Around the outside. Around the outside. Didn't. 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 Can't get on top of these. This doesn't look good. Awesome, I didn't think we could jump up there. We got a mission here too. GRE Medical Center. Oh, so this isn't a hospital. This 
is where we found the OG biomarker. Oh, that's fucking barbed wire. It's quite the challenge to get to this freaking hospital. I think we're gonna fall right through that. I don't think we could even. We have any. That's where we went up the first time, wasn't it? So it's to our left. Wait, well, let's paraglide down here. Oh, yeah, we've already looked here. You can't climb up these. You could climb up a lot more things in the first game. You could grab onto little things like that. Even if they didn't go nowhere, like... You could climb half up away a building that they never intended for you to climb. And then be stuck. It's gotta be the hospital. We're looking right at it. Sucks. Did you hear? Person. What? Renegades attacked the canteen. How's there? Nowhere is safe anymore. Where around that? container detected. <laughs> We gotta get top of there, top of this building right here. Damn, it's the highest building in the city. There's no way we're getting up there. I don't think we can just grab onto the edge or the side. Where's this guy at? This looks like you could climb up it. Almost. I like those regen, I mean, yeah, regen boosters. Guy in a cage, huh? At least we can do something interesting. Over here. What's up? Hey, hey, what? you! What? What? Time for a trusty bow. Over here. Give me what you got. I'm sure glad you came along. I was dead booster. Man. Thank you. Are you doing raiding these ambulances? Mm-hmm. Okay, here's our way out. How do you freaking get into a cage? Ladder shouldn't consume stamina. We've already been to this section of the roof. Okay. The opening? I thought there was an opening over there. Okay, here's one. Come on, survivor suits. Inhibitor container detected. In front of me, huh?
Bunch of yellow pipes. This looks pretty difficult. It looks like we've got to start with this one. Jump to the right and jump to that blue ledge. Or maybe just go all the way to the left. We have a stamina booster by chance. Immunity, immunity, regeneration, immunity. Toughness, endurance, endurance and stamina. Yeah, and it's like a high level one too. We're gonna make him use that for sure. Climb up this damn pipe building. Not much of an improvement. We can't make that ledge. I think we were supposed to go. Right to left over there. There's a lot more yellow on that side, but that, that's a big jump. I didn't think we could make that. Maybe we have to get to the top and we'll grab on at the very tail end of it. We're out of stamina already. Oh shit. We cannot make that. <sighs> hmm, I don't know what to do. I guess we'll try the right path again. It's less risky as well. Oh, fuck. Well, we are out of time for this episode. This has been your boy, Super Playing Dying Light 2. Stay human. Hope you enjoyed it. It would help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Somebody was jabbering, yipping and yapping, talking about what's happening. Traitor.